You know, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander adolescents often experience more stressful life events, such as serious health disability or the death of family members, than mainstream teenagers. They need to be nurtured and encouraged. And in this program, we'll be looking at three inspiring examples of projects that have been designed to do just that. In WA, Aussie Rules is having an amazing impact on the health, self-esteem and school retention rates of young men in Kununurra. The East Kimberley Footy Academy is a, an educational life skills program, it's not just a football program, that operates under the umbrella of Kununurra District High School. Well, let's go boys. Football for Indigenous boys is almost like a religion. It is just a really strong passion. Most of the guys are very skilled at football, so all of a sudden their self-esteem improves because they've been told they're fantastic players, they watch themselves on videos, they see their photos in the paper. So that's a very important part of the program. You got it. The approach I've taken for many years is trying to use ordinary activities and to make them a vehicle for that broader educational journey. So whether it be playing a game of footy and you've got to learn to turn up, to train, to work as a team. Now that applies if you're running a house. What are we going to eat Monday night, guys? Now, in most of these boys' lives, there are no significant males. So they are being surrounded by uh, males from the time they get to school to the time they leave. There's been uh, massive improvement in behaviour standards and significant improvements in attendance. We would like in four or five years' time to have to be finding every year jobs for maybe 15, 20, 25 Indigenous graduates from school. In Palmerston near Darwin, there's a deadly example of the benefits of peer support and having a special place to hang out together. I see a lot of boredom around Palmerston and from that boredom issues like drug and alcohol abuse, violence. We're developing relationships with those young people in a positive environment and leading by example which is what we want of our youth workers. Karina is the strong young female and Peter is a strong young male. We do drop-ins so that's Karina and I, we both uh, run that. Available in here is the counselling service to Indigenous young people only. We'll be looking at health, we'll be looking at legal stuff, topics around domestic violence, education and training opportunities, confidence and self-esteem. First aid, you need that some places in case you want to get a job. A lot of things revolve around music, DJing, rapping. We had a group that we took to Crockfest three years in a row and just seeing them go from being a little bit shy, a little bit shame job to actually getting on stage and performing in front of a thousand people was uh, pretty amazing stuff to see. Yes we're smart and we're taking part, now that's from my heart, hey well that's all I'm gonna say, catch you later, hey. Near Griffith in New South Wales, there's a unique early intervention program aimed at Indigenous boys aged 12 to 15. Come on, Candy in the borough is an early intervention centre and it's hoping to keep Aboriginal boys out of the criminal justice system. <laughs> Approximately 50% of children incarcerated in juvenile justice facilities are Aboriginal boys. And of that 50%, 85% of those boys go on to life in the criminal justice system as an adult. So the main aim is to teach these boys that there is an alternate pathway in life. Some of these boys, they don't really tend to abide by a lot of the rules, and I put this down to actually having no identity and being lost to their tradition and their culture. They engage in a program that works from seven o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. They have no idea of even simple things like keeping themselves clean or doing their own washing or doing their own meals, and it's all taught to them. What Takendi does here is to build their self-confidence and let them know that it's okay not to know how to do something and everybody's got to learn. Can you lead me around? 
Very good. If we spend the money up front on these boys, you'll get a greater, everlasting change, a transgenerational change, in fact. I'm here at the candy, way out west, showing my folks that I'm the best. Well done, boys.